Hey guys, welcome to Concept and Coding, and this is Shreyansh. And today I am going to share the roadmap of Spring Boot with you guys. And these are all the topics which I have come up with based on my experience. And I have covered microservices also in that uh, right Spring Boot uh, microservices using Spring Boot. There are a lot of topics, and yeah, we will go through one by one. But yes, after LLD. HLD and Java. This is the next playlist I'm going to work on. Okay. So one thing before I tell you the topics which I am uh, planning to cover, the prerequisite is Java. Like Spring Boot, as you know, it's a kind of a Java framework. Like if you don't know Java, then you, I would say that first go through the Java playlist and then come back to this. Uh, topics okay so first is introduction to spring boot like in this part where i would be telling like why the spring boot is required what problem it solves what are its features advantages so at least we will get an introductory like okay we are going to use a spring boot but why what problem it does solve then we will set up a basic spring boot project and i will also try to cover the layered architecture of Spring Boot. After that, I have put like understanding of Maven, POM dot XML or Gradle, right? Because this is very much we are going to lot of dependencies we are going to add. If you don't know either Gradle or Maven, then I think it's better. I will pick either Maven or Gradle, and at least I'll cover the structure of uh, XML file once Maven, POM dot XML. Then. Spring Boot annotation. So these are most of the annotations which we use day to day. And based on my eight to nine years of experience in total Spring Boot, Java Spring Boot, these are the most common annotations which we use, right? There can be others also. That's why I put a sectra, right? So we will start with this. If any other important uh, annotation is left, we will also add it. Then we will understand about the dependency injections and beans. We will also cover the Spring Boot data access, like where it connect to the database, right? So we will also cover this part. We will create a REST APIs with Spring Boot, right? We will also cover the Spring Boot security, authentication and authorization. So I have kept this part. Then logging part I have kept like uh, during when we create a project, we have to do lot of loggings, right? So Spring Boot also provide that functionality. So how to use it? So that's one of the topic. Exception handling. We have already seen exception handling in Java, right? So how in Spring Boot we do it? That's also one of the good topic to cover. Spring Boot caching, another very important like add the rate enable caching. There are certain annotations with this, right? So you will find enable caching. So there are certain very important topics, right? This is also important topic which we will cover. Interceptor, we use a lot. Many companies use a lot interceptor, right? So generally interceptor is like pre-work whatever the task you want to perform. And if you want certain pre-work and post-work after that task, then Interceptor comes into the picture. Spring Boot provides a way to add the Interceptor. Spring Boot scheduling. If you want to schedule a particular task, how to do that? We have, we can do that easily using a Spring Boot. Uh, so I think I can tell you uh, scheduling much more in depth because I have created a very good project into the scheduling part. Then Spring Boot unit testing. So I have picked Mockito. So we will cover with the Mockito Spring Boot unit testing. Now microservices topics with Spring Boot. In your company, you might be using this or uh, maybe some internal tools, but the concept would be same. Okay, so what all I'm planning to cover, which is which I think is important is first thing is introduction to microservices. So one should understand what is microservices, right? So we will discuss about microservices. Second part, service discovery using Eureka. 
So what is this Eureka microservice registering? So this is the very important part. You know, right? Each microservices, there can be multiple instances, right? And let's say, let's say this is microservices one. There are hundred instances and this is your application. This is your application. You want to connect to this microservice. Now, which instance to connect, right? That is what helps is service discovery using Eureka. So each microservice registering happened, very important piece we will cover. Another is tracing. So what generally happen is you have microservices one, microservices two, microservices three. And then say request comes here, then it goes here, then it goes here. So let's say there are so many microservices and request goes through multiple microservices. So what does happen is that we have to trace, but let's say if any issue comes here, right? So how to trace this request? So that's where this slit and zipkin helps. So what does happen is the slit will attach the trace ID with the request. So it will provide a certain trace ID, one, two, three, four, five, something, right? So wherever the microservices it goes, wherever the logging, they will do the logging it will go against this trace ID and Zipkin would provide you help you to visualize the microservices level logging using this trace ID. So it's a, again a very important part, but just wanted to tell you what does tracing the request means what we have written here. Then another is a Spring Boot profile. So what generally happen is uh, you might be working, right? So you want different properties of QA production, sandbox right so that's called profiling we have different qa environment production environment sandbox environment so and sometime in the code also you have to say that okay if it is a qa environment do this so that's that is known as spring boot profiling profiles so we will see that also spring cloud config server so it's a configuration management so what generally happen is let's say you have three microservices microservices one, microservices two, microservices three. Each microservices has their application dot properties, application dot properties, application dot properties. So here it can store the config, but for this microservice, it can store a config, but for this, but what cloud configs is that we can have one component where we can have a config, but that is common for all the microservices. That's why it is known as centralized config server also. But yeah, this is also sometimes is required. So that's why I've kept it here under the microservices part. Communication between different microservices, sync and async, where I have put the messaging services. So uh, how to uh, set up a Kafka and using a Spring Boot. So that's where we will like, if two microservices have to communicate with each other, how they can do. API gateways. Right, so we will write uh, REST APIs, right? So API gateway, you can say is that the centralized server where all the request comes and from there it will go to a different microservices, right? Circuit breaker, again important. Let's say that you have microservices one, you are connected to microservices two, let's say. If this microservices two is down and you keep on calling, 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 right? So sometimes your requirement is that, okay, if this is down, then handle this. Okay. So that is, can be done through circuit breaker. So circuit breaker can be open circuit breaker can uh, circuit uh, breaker can be closed, right? If it is closed, it goes to a fallback model. Okay. So this is also important. All companies I can tell you this is using, right? CQRS again an important and Spring Boot helps to implement this command query responsibility segregation where the write queries and the read queries can be different, right? So very important part. And the last which I have kept is the deployment and containerization, right? How, whatever the project we're gonna build, how to create an executable jar out of it, how to deploy it to a Docker container, 
so that will be under your microservices topics which i can think of and finally we will build a project any small project but currently in my top of head the project which i am thinking would be something related to coupons but maybe let's see that but first we understand this topics and then we will create a project of it okay so this is all the topics which i have written and just this is just a heads up that these are the initial topics which i have come up with based on my experience so i might update this list as when required uh, if i missed anything i will add it and if i see that if something is duplicate or not required i might uh, update it so this is the spring boot uh, covering from totally basics and also all lot of advanced topics are also there in that if you think that if i have missed anything please uh, ping me in the comment section and i will see that if uh, i can add it into what sequence and if it is really important thank you thank you team bye